This video is somewhat of a sequel to uh, my video showing how to use the Turnigy 9X 3-way switch, the auxiliary switch to control the uh, Arducopter, the APM 2.5 uh, flight controller in, in the three different flight modes. So I wanted to do the same. I received a bunch of comments asking is it possible to do this with the uh, DJI NASA and I wanted to uh, walk through that setup. The key to being able to use your uh, Turnigy three-way three, three switch with your uh, NASA flight modes, you know, to set up three different flight modes is you want to take channel six from your your receiver so this servo lead coming out of channel 6 and running it into the U port um, on the NASA. And as, as you've probably seen in the DJI a NASA Assistant, that U, mode, that U port actually is associated with your different flight modes, your uh, attitude, GPS, and manual mode. Let me point out before I actually dive into any of the settings that uh, this is a standard Turnigy 9X firmware configuration that I, um, I purchased this uh, transmitter off of eBay. So I know some people run ER9X and some other derivatives, but um, this will walk through the uh, standard firmware configuration to get the three-way or three-way switch uh, working with the DJI NASA. I do have a video that shows how to use the gear switch to toggle between attitude and manual mode but this will actually take it one step further and allow us to fly in three different modes. So we'll go ahead and dive into the settings for the NASA profile and what we're going to want to do is go to this pitch curve setting and that will actually show us uh, curves for each mo switch mode. So you have normal, ID1, and ID2. And you'll notice the different uh, curves change when I toggle the switch. Now I'll start with the uh, switch in the normal mode, the default position, and we'll go in and we'll set um, our percentages for each one of these points from low, one, two, three, all the way up to high. And right now you can see there's just a, a standard linear, linear pitch curve. Um, as we toggle these values or as we change these values we're actually going to set them uh, for each switch mode we're going to set them to a static value for L 1 2 3 and H and what those values will do they'll translate to actual um, PWMs that will uh, set the different flight modes and I'll, and I'll show you that here in just a second in the NASA assistant okay now we're in the NASA Assistant, we'll, we'll go ahead and click on Transmitter uh, Calibration. If you look at the bottom, you'll see the U, uh, you know, Control Mode Switch setting. Now, this is where, as I pointed out at the very beginning, uh, Channel 6 from our Turnigy uh, receiver was wired into this, uh, the U port on the NASA, and that's, that translates to these uh, settings down here. Now, if we look at our actual transmitter, we'll see that it's zeroed out, that the L point is zeroed out uh, for the normal mode of the switch. Now watch as I actually increase these values you can see the dial uh, jump to manual then to fail safe, attitude, fail safe again, and then GPS. So this range will go through for each mode of the switch and we'll set our um, percentages and we'll actually get those to fall on uh, the different flight mo modes that we want. Okay, for uh, we'll say the normal switch mode, just default right here, the top. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and set my pitch curve and let's make normal mode uh, uh, the attitude. We'll make the normal mode the attitude flight mode. So I'll go ahead and bump this up to right about where the A lights up. We'll say 53%. So we'll set all of our points statically on 53%. So now that we have that set, we're gonna go ahead and hit menu to save our curve, which actually is no longer a curve. It's a, a flat line for the normal switch mode. So hit menu. Okay, so let's go back in. We'll hit menu. 
and we'll see that our uh, normal switch is set. So we'll go to switch one, which translates to point ID one on your screen. And we, why don't we go ahead and set that up for manual mode? So we'll go ahead and do the same um, thing with each one of these points. So we'll just say 13% looks about right in the middle. Actually, let's just kick it down a little bit to 12% because we want that to be right in the middle of that section. So we'll go down and we'll set 12% for all of our points. Okay, now we'll go ahead and hit menu to save that. So now that means we have normal as attitude mode and switch mode, uh, switch position one as manual mode. Okay, so I'm going to go back in. We're going to put it in switch position 3, which is the ID2. And we're going to set this in GPS mode. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll fess up a little bit because I don't have a GPS, a NASA GPS. But I'll go ahead and configure this. And we'll see that just as a third mode to demonstrate for all of you that do have a GPS. So I actually set these to 91%. Um, yours will, your settings will probably vary, but just to get that GPS dialed in a little bit more. So hit menu and menu again. Actually exit now. We've saved all our settings, have our NASA profile. So the, the default switch position puts us in attitude. Second switch position puts us in manual. And then the last puts us, puts us in GPS mode. So that's the settings for our uh, transmitter setup. Now let's actually go and we'll take this for a test flight and we'll work on just getting toggling between attitude and manual. And for those of you for, that have GPS can take it into the third mode. Here we are with our NASA configured to respond to the three switch positions. You can actually see it. I'm, I'm actually in the third position, which is GPS um, mode, and I've been wondering what that would do. And actually, the NASA, you can see the blinking LED, so it doesn't like that, obviously, because I don't have the GPS unit. So we'll start out in uh, attitude mode, which is the first switch position. Then we'll go to manual and uh, show the difference between the two. Attitude mode. It's real easy to fly. You know, if I roll back and forth, you just have a limited. Okay, and now we're going to switch to manual mode. So now we're in manual. You can definitely tell that much more responsive at the sticks. Okay, we'll go back to attitude mode. You can kind of see it lock into place. And so that's Basically what's necessary to configure your Turnigy 9X three mode switch to fly your DJI NASA in the three different flight modes. Like I said, I received quite a few comments after doing this for my RG Copter setup. So um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. It took a little bit of tweaking and understanding, but um, I hope it's useful and please let me know if you have any questions or comments and thanks for watching.